So today we are docked in La Coruña in Spain, and my goodness, did some drama happen today? In an accident on the dark floor, blood, there was blood everywhere. So the main pool being closed on a baking hot day. So they're currently draining it, and it won't be ready until tomorrow. And don't get us started on Cracker Gate. Are you joking? <laughs> I'm not swear. So let's get the day started. Come on. Time for breakfast. We're just having some light bites as usual. The buffet can be a little bit too chaotic for us and we're just not in the mood to queue. Then Amy had a little surprise waiting in the toilet. At all, somebody broke the toilet paper holder. Hmm. Unless it's meant to be that light, but I don't think so. Oh, you don't say genius. Did you break it? No. Stop stalling around. It's time to get off the ship. We're docked in La Coruña today. For your information, when you leave the ship, remember to take your cruise card. You'll need it to reboard. And let's not tempt fate by losing it, shall we, Amy? Why are you picking on me today? Funny. So, what does La Coruña have in store for us today? First up, some artistic heads. The city is clearly brimming with culture. I wouldn't want a child on my face. It's creepy, right there. She looks like she's going to try and kill you. Yourselves. And there's Amy making no sense, as per usual. Our next stop is the Plaza de Maria Pita, a famous landmark here in La Coruña. Thank you, Google Maps. It's not a very long walk from the port. We've only been walking for about 19 minutes. That includes stopping and starting, of course. Ooh, a lamppost. What is your obsession with lampposts, Amy? Moving on, we've got a church to find. And speaking of moving, nice trip, Amy. <whistles> anyway, we finally made it to the Church of St George, a beautiful Baroque building. Fun fact, it was the site of Spain's first same-sex marriage in 1901. Then we stumbled upon an art gallery. Yes, we're getting our dose of culture today. Oh, we go to an art gallery. <gasps> oh God. Again, really? It turns out it wasn't the gallery we were looking for, but we found it eventually with some interesting contemporary art pieces. That bird looks a little stiff. Wait, isn't that a fish? Clearly you know nothing about art, Amy. Are you trying to get into the arty spirit by trying on Mel's hat, Nathan? No, he does look like a warrior, doesn't he? That's in the front of the army. Warrior. I don't think he'll be joining any armies anytime soon. Not my joke, no wood. <laughs> Nick, stop with the jokes. This is a place of culture. That was a bit unsettling. The art was a bit weird in there. They're beautiful, but they're very unnerving, these paintings. A lot of hugging the dead and so on. Yeah, just a lot of death and a lot of, mm, I don't know. Uh, not for us, not for us. Yeah. We, we, we gave up. Toned uh, babies and breastfeeding mothers. Mm. What's toned as that baby? <laughs> Look at his abs. That's a, that is a toned baby. I like this one, it's beautiful. Yeah, the dead animals is what got me, yeah. honestly. It's not just dead bears, it's a dead owl. Is that a dead possum? Yeah. Like, that's disgusting, I'm sorry. Killing animals is not art, but okay. Ooh. Just like, no, it's like, is that artist just about to become a serial killer? <laughs> that's what the vibes it gave me. Well, everyone has to start somewhere. No, Nathan, we're not buying another plush to cheer us up. Oh, I forbid it! Then we took a walk along the seafront. There's a lovely sandy beach here, which some of us just had to explore. And Amy seems to have forgotten how to walk. Just a quick toe dip before we moved on. Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh. And that's Amy talking in a dog frequency. It looked like everyone had a bit too much fun, especially Mel, who got her shorts soaked. You all wet, Mel. You got too. You got too excited. <laughs> that's what she said. Well, that's enough adventure for one day. I think it's time to head back to the ship. That's if we don't get distracted. I put that dildo for lunch again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right next to the. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're going to get a bottle of coke. Oops, it's at that vibrator. Disgusting. Where's Craig? He's, we think he's. Well, he said he was going to catch us up. We think he's gone to one of those sex vending machines to get a present. Ah. Uh, he's hiding what he's bought. Yeah, he is. 
Oh, he's out in something. Oh, blood. That goes out. Did you, you, know did, you right? did you use the machine all right? Apparently, Craig bought hot sauce. I think we need to search that bag. And it's back to our home at sea. Floating home. Our floating home. <laughs> Time to find a poolside seat. Step one, food and drink. Bacon and chicken? No, oh, oh, it might not be chicken, but it's got bacon in it. Ooh. Nathan got comfy quickly. Pretty good spot. Maybe our luck has finally turned. Oh, but maybe I spoke too soon. So it's a squelching day. I mean, it's boiling and they've just closed a swimming pool. And um, we don't know if it's because of there's actually doing filming. Well, at least we have the jacuzzis. You might be wondering, what's this film crew doing? They're shooting Channel 5's The Good Ship Murder on board. They were even looking for passenger volunteers to be extras, but we're here to enjoy our cruise. I'd done a bit of investigation. So I thought because they're filming directly after the up that maybe that was why that they closed the pool. Turns out someone's been sick in the pool. Uh... Mm. And that's why it's been closed. So they're currently draining it and it won't be ready until tomorrow. Tomorrow now? Yeah. Well, at least the sun is out. Have you considered subscribing to Name It Us Cruising? It's just the click of a button. I've just realised I haven't got any fingers. You'll have to do it for me. Back in the cabin, Mark gets extremely jealous over some freebies we received. MSC Voyager Club tote bags or d drawstring bags. And what are you going to do with it? Maybe wear them, Mark. You could have said, look, we've got some friends that have come, it's the first time, could we have three more tote bags please? Three? They would have given three. You're not All gold. it is is a tote bag with MSC Virtuosa on it. You're not gold members though. Yeah, but you are. Which means then you can be like, can I have a number three please? I don't think that's quite how it works. We got these drawstring bags as freebies for being gold members of MSC's Voyager Club. A nice little loyalty perk. And that's what you get for not sharing your freebie with Mark. Hey, come on. Mate, can we help? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Him and his Mr. Blobby pants out in the hallway. <laughs> the bombs. A little later. Do you hook every car can you out? No. Can you blame him? We don't know. I don't know, it's going to kind of try and find a bar that's quiet-ish mm -hmm. and then let the guys know where we are so they can meet us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't think the lifts have been as bad on here as they were on Eurybia. Agreed. Because that first night on Eurybia, like, the lifts were packed. And it was said the whole out of the... Yeah, it had, like, the crowded wait, basically. Yeah. But we haven't had that so far this week. We made our way to Masters of the Sea for some live music. I was like, where's my holiday phone? And I was like, oh, it's under my fat ass. I'm sitting on it. For anyone who's wondering out there what a holiday phone is, this is my old phone that has no SIM card in it anymore. And I use it on holiday. I can download all the apps on it that we use. And I'm not actually bringing my real phone with me. That's locked away in the safe. So I'm kind of getting away from the outside world. So Nick, are you enjoying this cruise more than p &O? In terms of party atmosphere, yes. Food so far has not been as good, apart from the teppanyaki restaurant last night, which is not a specialty. But yeah, just overall, the views they play on the pool, uh, the pool decks, um, in the Galleria. Completely, completely more me. easily one of our favourite spots on Virtuosa, perfect for live music and a pre or post dinner drink. You've got to throw it in the right place first. I guess <laughs> somebody I Speaking of dinner, let's get moving. That's if we can get these giant children to move. You're the captain! <laughs> Nick, it's dinner time. Dinner is served. <laughs> Not yet, but... <laughs> you did a Nathan. Dinner is served. 
know it, you just still. They mostly use digital menus on Virtuosa, so you can scan a QR code on your phone. Limited paper menus are available if you do prefer them. Oh, not too big for my now. My spoon is too big. Oh. I'm the only bow around here. Some of us went for cheese and crackers for dessert, but wait, where are the crackers? Mel, on the other hand, couldn't decide on just one dessert and ended up with two. Then our crackers finally arrived, and henceforth this moment in our lives will forever be known as Crackergate. Nick's got two, I've got two, and you've got two. No, I've got one and a half. <laughs> one and three quarter. <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you joking? I'm not fair. The other night, your crackers were huge. In MSC's defence, we did ask for some more crackers, and they kindly brought us some. Yeah, we got crackers! That's why I say, open another pack of Ritz up. <laughs> After Mel's little photo shoot, it was time for karaoke. It was packed, so Amy had to sit on the floor like a peasant. Karaoke only lasts for an hour, which is a shame because it's really popular. 20 minutes in and no more requests. It's too short, karaoke is too short. Thankfully, it's held most nights, so we all managed to have a turn. And of course, Mel was the star of the show. What good is As karaoke was so short, we decided to head to the atrium for a few drinks before heading up to the attic, which certainly wasn't short of its dramas tonight. Looks like somebody had a really bad accident in the club tonight. Pretty sad. As we were enjoying ourselves on the dance floor, we began to feel quite hot, so we headed outside for some fresh air and a bit of a breather. Suddenly, we see this man run outside with his hands completely covered in blood. Evidently, he was trying to assist the person who had been injured. Okay, someone's been knocked unconscious on the dance floor. There was stretchers and stuff like that. There was a lot of blood. We kind of just left. Yeah. yeah. I hope he's all right. Yeah, I really hope he's okay. Um, oh, yeah. so, what the hell's going on? But this, is, this has been a really weird day for random stuff. I hope, I hope that they're safe. I hope they recover. Wishing all of them and their family well. If you like this video, subscribe. That would be you know, a good jolly thing for us at this end of this weird day. Masters of the Sea isn't the only cool venue on Virtuosa. There are so many unique spots on board, but are they as small as people say? Join us in this video for a tour of every bar and lounge on the ship. We'll see you there.